Have you dumped all your money into cryptocurrencies and NFTs? Does Bitcoin have you down in the dumps? You're investing in the wrong stonks. If you want more equity, invest in DistroKid. Your music futures will never look higher. If you want to get your music heard more, DistroKid has four free marketing tools to turn your bear market into a bull market. Take for example, Spotlight. Choose one of your songs to get featured on DistroKid's Spotify playlists. Then get the world to vote for your song. It won't be long until you're more popular than Old Muskie himself. Use Spotify Canvas to really make your releases pop. This is no insider trading. It's available to all DistroKid artists. Don't forget about a promo card. DistroKid gives you the tools to promote your releases on all social media platforms, whether you have one or 100,000 followers. Hi, Mom. Last but not least, create a mini video to use on your socials. You've got style, charisma, and the camera loves you. Don't be shy. If you want your music to go to the moon, don't wait. Sign up for DistroKid using the link in the description below. What's the downside? Oh wait, there isn't one. Get your music hood on all platforms, including Spotify, iTunes, Deezer, and the new fangled TikTok the kids love. Let's make those gains together. Once again, sign up for DistroKid using the link below in the description. See you next time when you're sporting the new Lambo. Retirement looks good on you. Hey, what's up you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music and we're gonna learn this awesome Depeche Mode song right now. And if you haven't yet, I appreciate you uh, so much subscribing here to the Marty Music YouTube channel and hitting that bell notification. It does really help me out, so thank you. And if you're trying to get deeper into guitar, I have some great resources at my website. Check that link in the first comment down there and uh, let's break it down. All right, so we're gonna put capo on the second fret and then I'll just refer to it as standard tuning. It's kind of blues, it's kind of a bluesy E riff. So we're gonna play an open E, and then the third fret kind of with a little bendy pull off, and then hopping over and grabbing the octave of that open string, so second fret D, like that. Back to the third, open. Now, the open E's, the feel alternate. So it's like, and it's, it's two. So the first one, da 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 So you just go over to the A string. So do 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 ba. So it just pulls off that third fret of the A. Synthy there, you could add an octave. F sharp with the octave. Second fret, fourth fret, everything else is muted. First fret. I mean, just the single note is pretty, pretty nice. So here it is.
The next section is more chord oriented and it's a synth, it's a synthesizer arpeggiating some beautiful chords there, eh? Um, but if you had to play it on guitar, it'd be E minor. E minor. Then G major, G major, to D major, D major. Then A minor, A minor. And then my choice would be B power chord. Thank you, a believer. So that'd be second fret, fourth fret, fourth fret. Now with the synthesizer arpeggio, it's not positive, but I think... I'm hearing a note that would make it B minor, but that's what I'm saying, B power chord, makes it a little bit stronger, because if you play B major, it works, and it sounds good. You know, da -da 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 so ultimately, I think it's fully B minor is the intended voicing in there, but B power chord, B minor, B major, B7, they're all going to function for the melody. So that's my, that's what I'm saying there with that part. So E minor, da, 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 G major, D major, A minor, B. Also, oh, let me mention the, uh, in the beginning, if you really wanted to get accurate, you've got the little two harmonics on the B and high E. Oops, right here. There it is. So look at the double dots. One, two frets up from the double dots. One other, I mean, something to look out for. You got this part. Later on, it goes to the A. But it holds longer. And so it's just related to what we were already doing, but it goes, holds on G longer than normal. So from the A. Normally it goes... Right? But this time, then C. I mean, you could play a C major chord, but it's more of a boom. And from there, that's really all the parts. You know, you got the. You know, you got all that, but then just look for extra boom, 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 that C does that, I think, one more time, but then later, you know, just Only variation. Let's go knock it out. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Thank you again. Uh, feel free to request stuff you'd like to see in the comments below. And while you're down there, once again, I appreciate you uh, liking the video, subscribing here to the channel clicking the bell notification and checking those links down there all down there thank you again we'll see you later